Hi YouTubers! So, uh, yeah, welcome and uh, today I want to be talking about boiling the bags and uh, the jet boil. Uh, you saw, hopefully, and if you haven't, why not, uh, the video showing that you can actually make a bacon sandwich on a jet boil. Uh, but there have been some questions about boiling the bags. So, you know, I, for you, have gone out, bought some food again. I'm going to test it out on the jet boil. Uh, yeah, I went to uh, Cotswolds in uh, in Milton Keynes uh, again. You know, please don't sponsor me. You know, I'm not paid for by any of these companies. Uh, but that's the cheapest I found. I think they're on eBay as well. You can buy uh, the Wayfair or Wayfair Eyes Fairers uh, boiling the bags. Uh, the big difference between boiling the bags and the uh, dried food is obviously the weight. And they're quite substantive actually, uh, but we'll get it out and uh, we'll have a chat about it. So, yeah, this is the, the Wayfarers, the beans and burger. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, and diced potatoes, so beans with burger bits and diced potatoes in tomato sauce. That sounds actually quite nice for, uh, for your tea out in the bush. Uh, now, you know, I was trying to find out if it actually has anywhere where it, the weight of this, but you know, the sell by date on this is May 2020. So, you know, you can buy a few of these, keep them in the bag. You know, at the present moment, it's 2018, uh, you know, September 2005. You know, I could get another year and a bit out of these, probably more. So, you know, you can buy them, put them in your pack. You know, but a couple of these, you know, if you were taking them away for the weekend, I probably wouldn't have three meals on this. Even a main meal and breakfast. What I probably do is use these for my main meal, and uh, you know, have uh, porridge or bacon sandwiches, as I've showed you on my other video, uh, for a breakfast, uh, and then something snack for food. So, and then that would probably reduce the weight. I mean, if you have this and breakfast, and they do the breakfast, uh, then you know you're carrying a bit of extra weight, and it doesn't. I thought it might have had. Uh, so it's 300 grams. Sorry, it's there. So that's 300 grams, and your uh, your calorie intake uh, per 100 grams. Bearing in mind it's a 300 grams packet. I don't know why they break it down to 100. I think it's to make it even less. But uh, you're not going to just eat 100 grams out of this packet. You're going to eat the whole packet, aren't you? So why don't they put the information for the size of the packet? That winds me up. 100 grams. Everything's 100 grams. It's not 100 grams. It's 300 grams. Why don't you give me per serving? And then again, my serving is the whole packet. I'm gonna eat all of it. I've got no friends, no one else is here. I'm not gonna share it with anybody. I'm eating it all to myself. Anyway, do your maths the set you're on your own, because my brain doesn't work. So per 100 grams, and it's 300 grams, so whatever I say now times by three. So the calorie content is 142 calories for 100 grams. So you're looking at about, about 400 odd calories just for that. So it's very calorific. Uh, and again, you know, you got your fat, 4.9, of which is two grams of saturated. You've got your sugar, you've got your fiber, you've got your protein, you've got salt. Uh, and there you go. I mean, I've taken the, the tag off, but that was four pounds in my local Cotswolds camping. Uh, and the one in Milton Keynes has got a cost though, which I don't like. I always go to Starbucks, because Starbucks give you army discount. Costa, why don't you do army discount like Starbucks does? I'm gonna go to Starbucks all the time. I don't like Costa. I like my, my percentage. See, 10% off your coffee always saves the pennies. So there you go. You know, it does kind of fold in. So, you know, you can cram it to the side and stuff like that. So the first thing you do when you get a boil in the bag is you've got to give it a good, good massage. You know, get all the bits moving around and then you're gonna fold it and throw it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the size inside of a jet boil and also in my Pathfinder cup. So you've got your options there. So first, my uh, non-stick blacks. Are these still trading? Uh, non-stick cup that I, I, I take out. Uh, but I may actually be retiring it now because I'm really liking the Pathfinder. So uh, as you can see, useless. You know, doesn't even fit in. So next is the Pathfinder metal uh, cup that uh, comes with the uh, the water bottle. Now, as you can see, you know, it's pretty much well as much as you, you can get in there. Now you could probably cram it in because if I was cooking it, I'd actually want to put the lid on and then you know you can put the lid on, pour your water in, brew it up, 
use the water for your coffee or or mint tea or hot chocolate depending on your taste whatever warm beverage you prefer and uh, you know put it on front of your stove instant very good idea uh, I do love this cup you know check out the review for the Pathfinder cup and bottle uh, if you haven't seen it already and next up is the jet boil cup and uh, look at that perfect it was like it was made to fit in to the jet boil cup and that's why I do if I was doing a boil in the bag I'd make sure I get the whole cup submerged so you put it in pour the water in put the lid on top bang it and leave it according to the instructions you let it boil for about seven to eight minutes to warm the food fullery the food is also I should mention uh, you can eat it hot or cold but you know if you're gonna <laughs> carry 300 grams into the uh, into the field with you then I'm gonna want it hot especially in the evening and you know it's a nice little evening out in there in the woods tonight uh, so I'm gonna get it onto the boil uh, and give it a a DK taste test and let's see if it gets the thumbs up or the thumbs down see you in a minute so, but before we get going here's another DK top tip uh, you don't want to put this in your your pack or leave it lying around because you know the actual ends look quite flimsy so I put it in my uh, my my cup or my my uh, jet boil base as I call it because I never use it as an actual cup uh, and it just kind of protects them that's all there's a, a top tip for you. So I'm ready to go. You know, uh, you've seen the, the, the setup for the jet boil. So I've got the bag in there ready to go. Let's hope I've got enough water in my uh, in my stove because I've been using it for other things. I mean, ideally you probably want to fill that up, but let's let's hope it, it, there's enough water in there to kind of get the whole thing boiling up. Gonna light it. And for this I'm gonna put the uh, the lid on. Gonna keep some of the heat in. And he says eight minutes, so uh, I, uh, I will see you in eight minutes' time. So you see, it's boiling away. You, know, you don't need a, uh, a posh gimmicky thing on the side to tell you uh, when it's boiling. You can tell it's boiling. You know, the whole cup's moving. You can tell there's a good boil going on there. The side of the packet said eight minutes. I probably wouldn't give it eight minutes in a jet boil. Uh, because I think most of the water will just boil off in steam if you leave it for eight minutes because uh, it's such an intense boil uh, but we'll see uh, you know uh, that's been a you know, it boil, starts boiling instantly uh, but I'm gonna give it a bit longer of course you don't sit here watching it if you're actually on a cam or if you're in a in a camp situation leave your dinner on that's the other thing I like, I like about the jet boil you can just leave it go off start putting your tent up or or your basher or your bivy whatever or your hammock however you're sleeping uh, and it just you know it's cooking dinner so by the time you're all set up come back and you can have your dinner there you go you see it's 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 probably boiling over now so uh, yeah I think it's definitely had a I don't know the, the, the bags probably warm enough Oh, here's a, another top tip, uh, uh, certainly for wild camping. I've got some working gloves. These are great for picking up hot things, uh, using on, on trees if I'm soaring, uh, and it just protects my delicate, girly hands. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's drain the water out, get my brute. That's my, uh, my peppermint tea. And then uh, using my, my gloves because uh, the bag's gonna be hot. There you go, that's safe. 
and then you take it out and then you give it a good yeah, good kind of squeeze and then uh, I should be ready to eat so uh, let's see what it looks like yeah sorry about that so uh, yeah so I've got my glove got the packet you know give it a nice little squeeze it, it feels warm I've got my racing spoon they've got these nice give it a shake get it to the bottom I haven't had it spent all the time trying to move it around you've got your uh, easy open oh look get the uh, spoon in there I don't know if you can see that. Uh, no. it's, it's, it's a bit of a mush, but uh, you know, let's see if it's warm enough. Oh, yeah. No. That's big bits of meat. Mm. Yep. It's warm all the way through. I yeah, got bits of potato in there, uh, lots of bit of meat. Uh, good thing about the bottom of the bag as well is you know you're not making a mess of any pans or anything like that. So they're great for wild camping. You don't need to spend four pounds. You can get pot noodles and all that kind of stuff. But uh, anything that's in the in the you eat out of the container that you cook it in or you use, you're just saving cleaning up and or you know putting dirty things. So as much as I like making the bacon sandwiches in the morning. Uh, you know, for breakfast, I do like the whole boil in the band things because you can literally just pull it out, chomp away, and uh, it's an easy clean up. You know, lick the spoon clean, put it in your pocket, got your brew going, you know, which is my, uh, my peppermint tea. Ah. And there you go. Boil in a bag, wayfares, in a jet boil. Uh, my finger. Ow. Uh, of course I've got my first aid kit in the bag uh, and I've got a burn cream. Uh, that was when I went to try to take the lid off and realised that it's boiling water. So yeah, where fares, certainly the bean and burgers, uh, four pound, get a DK, thumbs up from me, uh, for four quid it's a nice meal. Yeah, you know, you'd probably pay more for a McDonald's if you went out. So uh, if you're in the in a even going for a day walk. You, know, you get all that going, have a bit of lunch kind of thing on the outside, uh, on outside and uh, warms you up. And if anything, you know, warms the hands up as well. Thanks a lot. Again, if you like it, subscribe, like, share, do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, you know, I need more than a million uh, uh, subscribers. You know, but the, hello to all the million subscribers I've already got. Please stop sending me checks and money and, and gifts and stuff like that. It's, it's embarrassing. Till next time.